What's cracking, people? It's your man, Cousin T, aka the Alpha Wingman, representing high level technicians operating globally and beyond. So, listen, today I was going to schedule a, a different um, topic, but this came across the timeline. Shout out to uh, Bo, Bolo the Entertainer, if you don't know him. He's one of the premier male exotic entertainers. Uh, and uh, follow him over on IG. Uh, I featured him in a video discussing male diesels uh, for the Octane series for men. Uh, I'll leave that video in the description down below. Now, one of his more recent IG stories, he referenced uh, the party that he did uh, for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And this particular episode of the show i know most guys don't watch it i don't watch it i just happen to catch the reference but this particular breakdown of the show which is available <clears throat> on youtube i'll leave a link to that in the description as well really highlights all of the things that i've been talking about uh over the course of my channel in terms of what real seduction is the type of man or the type of presentation that turns a woman on without even thinking about it i've got multiple videos and i'll link a few down in the description breaking down scene by scene what occurred uh, in the uh, real housewives of atlanta episode that's being referenced here now of course in the review the women have to display what i refer to as uh, the pressure of perception and we can start with Kenya Moore's reaction to, you know, this after show description of what uh, went down at that girls night out weekend. Now, basically, uh, in this scene, she's trying to downplay the excitement, downplay being turned on, downplay all of uh, the dollars that she threw. But in this very next scene that I'm showing you a picture of right now. She obviously was into it. She was obviously enjoying herself. And as we have always said, gentlemen, it is all about the pressure of perception for women. She has to put on that front for the public facing side, but behind closed doors, literally <laughs> when cameras uh, are off, she is clearly grinning from ear to ear, even behind the PPE, ready, willing, and able to make it rain on this entertainer, as she should as she should this is a professional performer you know he flew out to take care of business and clearly that is what happened here gentlemen now to, to set this all up the way that this particular uh review show was teed off was with uh the cast member latoya ali and one of the first things that comes out of her mouth out of the gate okay she's one of the younger cast members and she does not mince words as soon as she saw Bolo, she could not help but describing him as sexy as hell. And I'm not going to play the audio or the video um, clips on this side. I'm going to save that for the Patreon side where I go further in depth uh, as to the women's reactions to this unapologetic display of masculinity. Now, on this side, I will definitely uh, cover a couple of uh, spots that I, I think are worth mentioning on the YouTube side. For example, look at the state of this woman's face. Okay, this particular cast member uh, from the show, she is locked in this particular presentation. And this is what I refer to as being enchanted. This is not something that you can fake, but this is something that I definitely discuss in my book, The Seduction Scriptures, and especially on page 17. Early on in the book, I want to make sure that I break down these elements and these aspects of seduction, uh, making the contact as soon as possible, making your presence known, understood, and felt. And gentlemen, I know that not everybody is an ASP or as I've referred to as an alpha showpiece. But if we refer to seduction 401, which is activate, I have there the tech systems check. 
paying attention to maintaining your frame, your physical fitness and your presence, uh, making sure that your fit or outfit is tailored and curated to your signature style, but most importantly, paying attention to your fragrance. And of course, out of all of those uh, elements, this is the one that you can immediately, right now, today, by clicking the link in the description and getting your bottle of Enchant, the ASP Holy Ghost by Scorpio. We have both the large size, uh, standard size fragrance sprayer, and also the stealth size, which is a travel size for your gym bag, travel size for your cross body bag, uh, and just a convenient one to keep in your car. Always making sure that you are ready to step up to the plate and enchant the target that you desire to acquire. Now, obviously, in this particular clip, this young lady is hit with the ASP Holy Ghost. And this, gentlemen, is what happens when that occurs. Now, beyond that, this display is showing textbook masculine seduction. Historically, people have thought that the uh, <clears throat> domain of seduction has been... Uh, heavily 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 weighted towards the feminine aspect of it and i am here to tell you that that could not be any further from the truth it's just that historically men have not had a system men have not had uh, guidelines they have not had a way of understanding their masculine seductive qualities, of harnessing their masculine seductive qualities and projecting that uh, masculine seductive energy out towards their targets. Allow me to reintroduce the select manosphere where men can find themselves. Now, clearly the YouTube side is not friendly to the depths that we go into uh, the steps of seduction and uh, breaking down the logistics, breaking down the intuitive side, uh, and just the nature of masculine seduction, point by point. And as this particular show uh, pointed out, what happens once the cameras stop rolling? What happens once all of the more prudish uh, women have paid their tabs and gone for the evening? That is when the after party begins, and that is where the Patreon side picks up as we will get into what actually happens when the shadow world is allowed to be on full display. The last points that I want to uh, make on the YouTube side are this. Notice that he's not dressed with uh, saggy or baggy jeans like the quote-unquote pookies and ray rays. But also notice that he's not dressed in an Oxford shirt or a polo or the corporate uniform with shirt and suit and tie like Carlton's. He doesn't have to have swag. He doesn't have to have street cred. He doesn't have to have a yacht or a Bentley. And he doesn't need to lead with his wallet. In fact, the women are giving him so much money that it wouldn't fit in a wallet. He's got to carry that money out in a trash bag like Scarface. At the end of the day, the only thing that a man who's tapped into his seductive prowess needs to wear is his masculinity. Because gentlemen, masculinity is the truth. And when it's on full display, femininity is the proof. As we can see, I see a room full of submissive, ready, willing, and able women with their full feminine nature on display. Select men, pre-select men, non-select men, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, this is your man Cousin T, aka the Alpha Wingman saying, stay sharp and mission focused. Later.